Hey, hold on. Hey, real smooth. Ooh. Hey, hey, Ooh. hey. One time okay. for Nip. Hey. Okay. <laughs> Let go. What up, what up, what up? Welcome to the Whiskey Conversation Podcast. What up, y'all? Hey. What up? Hey. What hey, I know y'all heard that estrogen. We got some ladies with us today. What's up, ladies? Y'all doing all right? Doing all right. All right, all right. But y'all know how we started with the toast. Okay. Glasses up. Oh, yeah. Salute. Salute, yeah. Wild card, what we toasted to, man? Yeah, I want to straight on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> on the, put him on the spot. We gonna we gonna, we gonna toast to some healthy conversation. Healthy conversation. Healthy conversation. That was real random. He was like, oh, so deep. Oh, I've never oh. seen anyone catch him off guard. He's usually ready. He's like, yeah, that was about the first uh, time. Uh, never caught that boy. Uh, it, ain't, it, ain't, it ain't gonna happen too many times. Don't worry okay. about yeah. it. That's facts. That's Don't worry about it. No, we got a uh, special sponsor today. They sent us a, a, a dope package uh, up to the studio today. Jacob, what, who we got, man? All right, let me throw in my radio voice. <clears throat> uh, uh, still, still ain't there. Damn boy's about to sound the same. Wait, 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 wait five more voice. years, bro. That's not All right, much. so before we get into today's show, we want to thank our sponsor. Our sponsor is Southern Scholar. You can check them out at southernscholar.com. Southern Scholar provides superior men's dress socks delivered to your door monthly. Crafted utilizing their one-of-a-kind signature material blend, classic color palettes, and timeless designs. Southern Scholar provides a truly better dress sock option for men. Included with each pair is their complimentary style card to ensure that you get the most out of your look every time. They have superior fit, they stay on your calf, and they are incredibly soft. All of our socks are crafted using the 200 needle count knitting process. I don't know what that is, but that shit sounds, sounds fancy. Comforter, right? Using the best materials out. So, in layman's terms, these are some comfortable ass socks, and you need to go get a pair right now. Follow them on Instagram at Southern Scholar and check them out at southernscholar.com. Southern Scholar, we Shout appreciate out. y'all. That's Jacob Radio song. Voice was kind of trash, but Southern Scholar, we definitely appreciate hey, bro, y'all. He's going to learn. He's, He's going to learn one day. He's going to learn, gonna learn one day, man. We definitely appreciate yeah, y'all. But, eventually. Oh, eventually. Man. Bang, bang. Oh, no. Like First I shot said, here. Like I said like earlier, we have the ladies here today. We have Miss Brittany Bullock. Am I saying that right? Yes, sir. I am. I am. Say what's up to the people. Hello, hello, hello. And y'all know her. She's no stranger to the Whiskey Conversation podcast. And we have Miss Nicole Lombreris. Am I saying that right? right. Ooh, Ooh, got Nicole. it, got it, got hey. it. Two for two, boy. I'm in there. I'm two. in there. She's Barely. a part of the Crown Jewel podcast. We've been trying to get her on for a while. Yeah, I'm here now. Uh, some episodes she'd be drunk before our episodes. So, But we got her here sober today. She? and uh, she's Let's see she not, not for long. Yeah, let's, like see you stay, let's see if she stays sober Tested. today. But we're going to go ahead and jump into it, man. We got to say it with your chest because we, we got to get to this topic. Yeah. We got a yep. great topic. I know y'all ready for it, but we're going to go ahead and jump into say it with your chest. Austin, what you got, man? Oh, boy. So. Uh oh. I'm actually interested to hear this, though. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm actually hey, interested. My, my luck with women just sucks. So. Oh, oh, my lord. I'm we just going saying there. I'm not yeah. simping. No, it's I simping. Don't no, simping. <laughs> simping. No. He pre approved. He's not no. simping. Listen, okay, listen. So. Oh, so I swear to God, you tell me another story. <laughs> uh, go ahead. No, my, my say it with my chest is I don't get why girls ghost. Here's why. Mm. So, met this lady. We were talking for probably a good week. Every day, consistently. Yeah, Shut up. Every day, consistently. <laughs> then out of nowhere, it just stops. And I'm going like, what's going on? So just maybe send her one message like, hey, have a good night. You know, hope everything's going well. Double Next text day. Her. Relax, bro. Can't finish. Mm. <laughs> Let him finish. Let him finish. So, tried that. I'm okay. <laughs> so, I'm like, I, I don't want to be like, keep pushing or anything like that. So what did no, you do? Nothing happened. I'm like, all right, I got to go. So I'm, I'm fine. I was cool with it. Mm-hmm. But it's frustrating when, like, if something came up and you're just thinking, hey, my ex boyfriend came back in my life or whatever, <laughs> just say it. Just tell me. Austin, don't just like, like it's the case. Story, bro. No, it's <laughs> not. It's the case. I promise you, it's not. Because last time the girl actually said something. This this one just left. No, nah, actually, all right, real quick. We're gonna, hold on, real dress. quick. Real quick. <laughs> We're going to have a mo- moment of silence for No moment. That and makes it worse. Hold on. Let's give it a moment, moment, no, moment no, of silence. God, Just a quick down. moment of silence. Hey. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that wasn't going to last long. God, I <laughs> thought that was going to at least be a longer say it with your chest. Ladies, do y'all have a say it with your chest? You got something? I don't know. Wait, I'm looking at my uh, say it, my from Crown Jewels. Oh, you know. Yeah. Yeah, they do. We do Urks. They do Urks on Crown Jewels. Pretty dope. 
It's gotta be Arkham. I'm gonna say this one. Jeez. Different. Number 156. When people misuse oh, coasters, that's annoying. Misuse? Yeah. Coasters? Yeah. How do you misuse your coaster? coaster? You put a cup that doesn't have condensation on it on a coaster, but then you put the cup that condensates on the table. It makes no sense to me. How do we know what condensates and what doesn't? You can see wet. it on the outside of the cup. It's wet. If it's cold, you I mean, know what condensation is. No, I mean, of course you're going <laughs> to you see it on the glass. I'm talking about <laughs> condensation. Well, listen here. We're not going to go to complicated <laughs> words Jesus because Christ. we know you can't say complicated What was the word last week? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Sweet. Nah. No, oh, security security something, something, something. Security something crazy. Security already. I mean, this guy doesn't know Trudiosity. what that word is, but he knows what a rifle is. Curiosity was the word. Oh, my God. Securiosity. Okay. So he made it up. Does right. anybody have a good say it with your chest? I do. Okay. Let's go, Cal. KJ, what yeah. you got? Oh, he don't, 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 don't hold it. Let's get it. Is it, is it I mean, just me? I felt mine was good. Is it, is it just me? I want to know. Oh, my. Because I feel this is a national disaster that has not been addressed. Oh. Oh. But does anybody want to know what the hell happened to the IC Orange at McDonald's? Besides me. Oh, Man, no, on? that makes me so mad. Does, does anybody else want to know why oh, McDonald's wait, had like a hot seat orange? I ain't going to lie. Hot seat orange at McDonald's used to hit, bro. Man. Wait, it hit for real. Hot seat orange it's been gone. gone. McDonald's? It's, it's, been, gone. Uh, it's been gone. Uh, so that, that, that social concern. Yeah, I want you to bring it But no, back in the summertime, McDonald's used to give them dollar largest. Time out. And you they don't do that no more? There's a chance the rapper can bring back spicy McNuggets at Wendy's. We can bring back hot seat If he can bring back what? Slow down. Spicy McNuggets. Okay, there we go. Okay, I said McNuggets, my bad. Spicy McNuggets can go. No, what? Hossie Orange need to come on back. I, okay. That's Hossie, what we like. Hossie Orange was a staple as a little kid growing up. We can do but it. what did they replace it with? Nothing. nothing. Absolutely oh, they nothing. They took it off. Yeah. Yeah. They took the whole stick off. Y'all got to get the Sprite. It hit. No, I, hit I was just chest. about to say, Whoops, have you ever step. had Sprite or Coke from McDonald's? Yeah. I swear it's different it's from it's any place. Hey. McDonald's Sprite is definitely Sprite on steroids. And they Powerade is it's different. Anything out of they found is different from any place you've But do y'all mix it in the Coke machine? Mix the Sprite with the Hossie Orange and then with the Great. Ain't no more hot seat on. No, I'm saying. <laughs> Ain't no when more. It was. Yeah, boy, it's heated for real. Bro, it's like a mixture of shits. It'd be good, bro. So you doing a suicide at McDonald's? I mean, then I had my own liquor later, but yeah. I never did that. It's, it's amazing. They had like okay, hey, question, question, question on the suicide drink. Yeah. <laughs> you put... <laughs> what? A question on the suicide drink. <laughs> <laughs> According to my calculations... <laughs> Those are too many combinations. What, what, what's the proportion of each drink that you're putting in the cup? <laughs> we love you, Austin. I'm done. Yeah. Austin, we love you. Shut your ass up. Don't you turn marinara on us. Yeah. Austin, what was the Ladies question? Ladies and gentlemen, we have our first tally of the evening, chill and that's chill all out, I'm going to say. <laughs> what you got, bro? What's your question? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> in terms of the suicide. <laughs> in terms of the suicide. On, we're going to let you get yeah. the question. We're going to go to the main topic. Do, do you add water in it or not? No. I add ice. I don't add water. No, no, no. The definition of a suicide is everything. I don't add everything. So then it's not a suicide. I didn't call it a suicide. If if you had to press a button for the water, it's not a suicide. This has been a fail today. No, Austin's. Now, <laughs> there are a benefit to But wait, hold up, though, because oh. I think I think you should bring up that rat burn situation. That was legit. I, I looked it I up. Mean, I mean, I, I looked it up before, on YouTube. Before, That's yeah. a legit situation. Before we go to that, RIP to Snicker Blizzards at Dairy Queen. They been gone too. Why do, why do y'all know all of the fucking <laughs> fast food places that go, don't that's search? Why I drink now. Well, they, Hot Seat no, Orange been of... gone for about a year, son. No, they well, okay, I'm about two like, years. I'm sorry. Well, you know what? It's been gone. R.I.P. to every big flurry machine at McDonald's. Because they never working. Because they don't have Snicker Blizzards no more. Wait, what? Mm-hmm. Well, you replaced it, it, your Snicker Blizzard with a McFlurry? Wow. Okay. That sounds like an alcoholic. That sounds like an alcoholic. Wow. This, not every day, guys. this needs to be an intervention. <laughs> well, yeah. So the main topic, <laughs> Nicole. Yeah, today's topic. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be your topic. We're gonna discuss we Nicole. You. No, we're not. <laughs> Austin, what you got to say? I have nothing apparently anymore. <laughs> <laughs> You've been in your feelings for Austin, two weeks, bro. Oh, it's all right, bro. Women, it's okay. I don't know about you, Brittany, but I've been ghosted before, and I've ghosted, so I'm sorry that happened to you. Why do girls? Why do girls ghost? Is there a reason? Why are you looking at me? Is there a reason? I feel like you <laughs> is ghost. Is there a reason niggas. why, though, from a woman's perspective, though? Is there a why reason why? Ghost? In your situation, I can I couldn't explain to you why. In my situation, it was different. I got tired of having conversations. So it's that so that it's situational. You. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but don't you yeah. think it's extremely rude just not to tell it the person? Rude, as well as how ghosting. Life ain't nice. Exactly. <laughs> it ain't polite. I know. Girls gonna ghost. Dudes ghost. It's part of life. Mm-hmm. 
You got to pick it up. You got to pick it up. We were going to let it slide. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nobody make it today. I love you. I'm sorry. Okay. Nobody's making it today. Carry on. Why? Okay. That's fact two for me today. I'm going to stop. Man, you better slow down. Brittany, your your perspective. Why? Brittany, an All-American player, so you're going to get the most savage answer in history. Dead ass. Wow, I feel attacked right now. Brittany's mm. super corporate. Just she true. probably send an Same email and let you know she ain't trying to holler at you no more. <laughs> this is that interesting. Is As per my last email. <laughs> this is Here's the, that one. Here, here are the reasons why we were not talking anymore, and this is what you can do to correct the situation. <laughs> Just not with me. Go ahead. Oh, that's a real one. Okay. Um, <laughs> so I think not knowing the girl and not knowing the situation, but if we just took kind of just a large perspective, she probably just wasn't feeling the conversation or something – possibly came up i do think we're at that age where we should move past ghosting like if you're not feeling a person or something just yeah. let that person know like mm-hmm. hey yeah i don't think this is a good situation i'm really not feeling it thanks for your time and move on like we're adults like yeah. let's communicate that but yeah. then that's not a reality for everyone yeah where they the don't know world. how to handle conflict well. and i think that's just my perspective if like if literally you just weren't feeling it or whatever just just say it I mean, bruise me with the truth and rather than come for me with a lie. It's okay. Mm. Put it on a t-shirt. Tweet that. Yeah. Say it again. That's two t-shirts he done made. Yeah. Back back. That's two. It's going to be all right. No, put you in. I'm good. We don't I'm going to talk it through later, bro. It happens to everybody. I'm good. white king. You'll be okay. Strong white king. Just say white child. Strong white king. He wore your colors today for that reason. That's a new one. That is definitely a new one. But say it with your chest was brought to you by. No, you didn't. It's okay. All right, say it with your chest was sponsored by Crooked Fox. Brian, what we got on Crooked Fox? Man, if you can read the back of it for me, I appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> Pass that work. bottle. Because the way my eyes set up. Ooh, wee. With the glasses on. Yeah, ooh, these, ooh. these for sure. So, oh, first and foremost, I just want to say shout out <laughs> to you, Crooked Fox because they are out of Carrollton, Texas. Hey, they boy. are super local. Let's get um, it. And we had it for the first time at the D Magazine event last week. And shout out to D Magazine. It, it, was, out. it was legit. Fantastic so, D Magazine, we appreciate all of y'all over there. Um, but for, for the most part, Cricket Fox is pretty legit. Kind of hurt going down there first, but it soothes my chest and warms me up on the inside. Mm-hmm. Let alone. Five of them, nothing hurt anymore. But you, <clears> he got some you. hairs now. On his chest. Of Thanks. Course. You remember. Mm-hmm. So, for Wait, those what? who like to balance a little clever and a little <laughs> crooked, our award winning <laughs> bourbon is purposely balanced to deliver a rich flavor and a smooth that? finish. We hand select our bourbon from small batches and blend with precision, highlighting the best of each barrel. The result is a well rounded bourbon that even the most sophisticated whiskey drinkers will enjoy. Mm-hmm. From their families to ours. Shout out to Cricket Fox. God bless. Thanks, <laughs> Ooh, boy, that voice, boy. Yeah, like that. Now, that's a radio. That's Jacob, that's a radio voice. That's a Jacob, Jacob, take notes. That's a radio voice. Ooh, and a great I had the point that I missed. Yeah, yeah, it's women-owned. Women-owned. Ooh. Women Ooh. Owned. Oh. Look at, yeah, look at God putting it down for the, for the conversation today. Oh, oh. Mm. Shout we, out y'all to was the, meant to be right. here, and we were supposed to get this bottle. Shout, shout out, out to the women. Y'all single? You saw that with those I mean, thick-ass glasses? What? Is that? Ooh. How did uh, you see that? Ooh. Shout out to Mike, the women. Mike, what are we talking about today before they shout get out, started? Shout out to the women. Hold on real quick. Speaking of women, mm-hmm. so we had a very known and prominent woman in uh, the news last week, and everybody's been talking about it. Wow. Uh, the Aisha like Curry interview story. Everybody drink. What everybody everybody sipped on that one. Everybody drink. Everybody drink, huh? And so, uh, we had to, we had to, to we had to come and talk about this, uh, and it was only right to bring ladies on the show so we could have, you know, both sides of the argument. Okay. But uh, if you didn't hear, I, I, I like Calvin when he ex- he explains stuff. Calvin, uh, go ahead tell us what about the Aisha please. Curry joint, man. All right, so. <laughs> So the whole Aisha Curry um, Red Table Talk with Jada Pinkett is a show that Jada does on Facebook uh, only. Uh, so pretty much it's Aisha, Steph's mom, uh, Steph's sister, a whole bunch of their family. Mm-hmm. And Aisha has touched on the point of where there's a lot of women that approach Steph um, all the time, that she's bothered with it on a constant to where sometimes it qu- she feels insecure and question about herself because – she doesn't receive that same male attention and it would be nice for her to have like some outside male attention every once in a while. So the whole uh that whole statement kind of went rampant over social media. Not uh, kind of past <laughs> it, kinda, it, 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 went, it went very rampant. Memes were made, tweets were made. Uh both women and men crucified Aisha for the comments. Also there were some women and men that also understood where she was coming from. Um I will say with me, 
when I initially heard it, I understood where she was coming from just from the standpoint of as a woman and dating a pro athlete and you have groupies around your husband all the time, it does put a big insecurity around you with that whole life dynamic. Mm -hmm. So I think a lot of people took it as she just wanted outside attention all the time from other men. I don't I don't believe it was that's what she was saying. It's just a part of she seeing your husband get all these groupies and attention to where mm -hmm. you're 30 years old, you got three kids, you're a housewife, you do cooking, like there's not, you don't get any, any attention outside of that. And to me, I understood it a little bit more just because I'm a big Martin head. Now, I remember the episode of Martin when uh, <laughs> he took his ring off to go to the gym to see if he still got it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, granted, Martin still loved Gina, mm -hmm. but as a man, I mean, I think that speaks with men as well. Men want to see if they still got it, even with they married, if they can still talk to a woman, still flirt with a woman and work. So that was the first thing that popped in my mind when I heard the whole Aisha Curry thing. I didn't really blow it up or mm -hmm. like take it as a negative output because dudes do the same thing. Mm -hmm. A lot of guys just want to admit that their ego gets brushed if they have a girl that's super attractive and gets a lot of male attention mm -hmm. and they don't get the same attention from females. Mm -hmm. A lot of guys want to admit that. I think the only possible thing that I like looked at it from the standpoint of if that's something that they that they already discussed in private, mm -hmm. I mean she can say that what she wants in public. Yeah. But I think if it was something to where they like never talked about that issue in private and that was like the first time Steph had ever heard about it's that an and it came out, like me as a husband, <clears throat> boyfriend, fiance, whatever the case may be, I would have like wanted you to kind of speak to me about how you felt and your emotions with everything before me just hearing about it through mm -hmm. the yeah. internet, social media, things like that. So I'm not I'm not saying what she was feeling was wrong. I think it just depends on if that conversation and if her and Steph kind of had that, not even before the interview, but just sometime in their marriage and that conversation's been out there and, you know, which I'm assuming it was because after that he did come to her defense and say, like, you know, forget all the BS, like, I appreciate you, everything like that. So everybody had their own opinion. That's mine. I wasn't too <laughs> irate about it because if men can be honest with themselves, a lot of men do the same thing and want the same thing. I, I think to go off of that, though, um, when I first, you know, heard, saw this in the news when it came up, my, my first thought, like, it, I agree with her. I mean, I can understand that perspective. But your security should not be based on another person because when I heard how she responded, my first thought was there, there's a lot of insecurity in that specific area for her. I totally understand wanting to be validated by a complete stranger, having another person find you attractive. I get that. But it shouldn't be based off another person. It shouldn't even be based off Steph. It should be based on her confidence. Now, he should always encourage her and push her and show her how beautiful she is to him. But she shouldn't be basing that off of purely him or anybody else because all she's doing is – all she could be doing, and I'm not saying she is, but all she could be doing is um, essentially just being like a vacuum. Like you're sucking the energy out of another person without investing that. So if you're in a relationship looking at somebody to be fulfilled only for you but you're not giving that back, I think that's where there's an issue. So I, I just – it just goes back to the point of your security is not based on another person. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely, definitely. And you said something that I want to touch on. You said something about being validated. And the actual topic, of course, is not Aisha Curry. But, I mean, that's just the basis for the topic. The actual topic is why do we feel like uh, gaining attention or gaining validation from other people is so important? But I want to hear from the ladies what they, what they have to say about Um, I think I agree with Calvin here. I'm sorry, wild card. But – I, when I first seen it, I only seen a clip of it. So my initial thoughts was, what's the context of what she said? I went back and watched the whole interview, and when I actually heard her say what she said, she was answering a question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Honestly. Yep. Vulnerability is key when you want to put things out there for people to hear you and to try to resolve it. That's for her husband to do. But she was in a place, real <coughs> table talk, for them to be honest and open about what, what the real answer to the question was. Authenticity, we love it, right? But we live in this antagonistic society, this social media driven society where you have to be polished at all times. You have to say the right thing at all times. Men, it's, the simple thing is men need validation and women need reassurance and vice versa. It's that simple. Can you so expand on that a little bit more? 
Meaning we all need some type of check mark by what we do or how we dress or when we go out, we put our makeup on, you guys dress, you know, put your suits on. We want compliments. We do all this stuff. We post pictures. Oh, we don't get enough likes. I'm gonna take it down. I'm putting the archives. We all do it. I, I, I would disagree to a point on that. J mm -hmm. Just to bring a different perspective on this. For me, I don't dress well to get compliments. Mm -hmm. I know that with our society, mm -hmm. I'm gonna stand out because not a lot of guys dress yeah. well. I mean, outside of these mannish, rakish, rugged gentlemen. But outside of outside of that, gang, like gang. For, for me, I don't dress well for the compliments because that's what you do. Because it to me it's it's a negative if I'm trying to focus on the compliments from a random stranger, mm -hmm. then there's a deeper issue from from me. You're talking to a person with six pictures on Instagram, so I don't really care about outside validation. Yeah, that totally <coughs> makes but sense. I'm just I'm saying following you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying on that note, I'm not following you. What? You got six pictures. So you want to follow me? Too. There's no reason. Did you want to follow me? me? I will after this show. Don't unfollow me, Jacob. <laughs> That's rude. Cruising socially on Anyways. And she wants to Brittany. love. Miss Brittany. Brittany, what you got? Bucky seatbelts. Oh, man. Why it's about to get so extra. You're on the hot seat. Wow, I don't know why you guys don't trust me here. I this love is you. so crazy. Shit, I don't. Uh, I never said I didn't. It's a nice That's little jacket because you gave him the name White Chocolate, so wow. he loves you. I know. I so, do. That's so valid. Um, no shame. So I needed that reassurance. So welcome. Um, so I think there's two sides to this, right? Mm. So I think to kind of some of your point, Austin, that yes, validation and all of those things should come from self confidence. Mm -hmm. We're also very human at the end of the day, right? And I think it would be fair that we could say that at some point each one of us has struggled some bit with being confident in ourselves, whether it's how we look, whether it's something we've done, and I don't think that like negates anything she's feeling, right? And I think it's, especially as a woman, and she's had three kids, mm -hmm. and you're married to someone who's a superstar, and constantly people coming at him, like being in his face, it's wonderful, it's like, hey, am I still, if I mean Beyonce made a whole album, yeah. of course it's like a whole, a whole songs about right. this. Mm -hmm. like, we could play Jealous right now. Yeah. She talks about this. So I, I think on that note, it's, you know, she's looking at where he's at and saying, hey, as a woman, like, am I secure in what's in myself? Yeah. And feeling that in this transparency. But then she got that backlash, of course, because of things she said five years ago when she was talking about wearing enough clothes. And she was like, I like to keep my goodies covered up, right? And I think then with that, we saw people saying, well, you're not getting a tr like attention because you're not wearing you know scandals clothes and you're not doing this and you're not doing that and it's like well why are you kind of diminishing who she is to what she has on right. or saying like kind of Absolutely. like making us like a consumer package good saying well if you don't dress this way then you're not getting yeah, that attention yeah, yeah. but i also think on the other side of that again with us just being human we all need validation at some point mm -hmm. and yeah. social media has intensified that absolutely with you and know a small amount the, of time. yeah mm -hmm. small amount of time yeah. with <clears throat> how many your likes you're getting how many people are viewing your videos like all yeah. of those things and it continues to get worse that now even kids these days are in more pressure to feel mm -hmm. like they have to look a certain way and do a certain way by the age of like 11 now and they're getting mm -hmm. rewarded for it through compensation which is even crazier right, yeah. right. so, like so money uh -huh. is driven to it yeah, yeah right for and, sure. and if i may just just to expound a little bit more, I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm like defending my point, but just to explain a little bit more, I totally understand like wanting to feel validated by the person that you love and you care for. My 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 hope for, I mean, any of the viewers and any of us here is that it's not dependent solely no, on that. It should it should never be dependent Ab solely absolutely. on that. But I do think at some point all of us have looked for outside validation to know like we're doing they something they right a liar, obviously. Yeah, because we're human absolutely like, and i think that's where sometimes so when people we expect a lot of transparency and honesty especially when people are public figures in their limelight say oh we want you to be transparent you should tell everything but then when it's told the backlash comes with it you're never going to agree with what everyone says mm -hmm. so for her in that moment a lot of people did agree with her and did feel what they were doing because like hey i've been in that situation where i've been with someone and they're getting all this attention like it's great it makes you wonder like wait are you guys kind of coming to me like I shouldn't be with this person or I'm not good enough or those type of things. So it does kind of make you look and say like, okay, well, where am I at and what am I doing? And I don't think she was wanting, you know, random men to just be in her DMs, but she was just yeah. like, she like she just want to yeah. know like, hey, I'm still attractive. Still I still have it. these things. Yeah. I still got it. Still yeah. Got let, let me ask external. you this though. Do you think <clears throat> as far as like with her, as far as like how she said she wanted outside male attention, do you think it is because of the marriage 
she's in and who she's married with. I asked a simple fact just because I've heard people say that Aisha Curry is fine. Yeah. I've heard I've heard mm-hmm. that before. 100%. It's the same way like yeah. people say that Michelle Obama is sexy. Yeah. Like, but nobody's mm-hmm. ever going to approach Michelle Obama mm-hmm. in that way because mm-hmm. of who she is, mm-hmm. a respect factor of that, and also who she's married to. So do you, do y'all think that the attention that she lacks or that mm-hmm. she thinks that she's not getting from an outside is kind of tagged on with the marriage and who she's married with. From, from a, I definitely I think respect people respect. Factor. I think people respect Steph. Yeah. Um, but to kind of go into that a little bit, I don't think it's completely external either. Going back to the point that you brought up, she has children. Your body changes. Things start to look different, a whole lot different. She's only 30. She's only a couple of years older than some of us in here, a couple of years younger than some of us in here. Pulling like, game. So, weak. Weak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, weak my, AF. My, but, um, <laughs> pulling my birth certificate, huh? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Right on. Stiff up there trying but, for them boys and struck out three times. Jeez. <laughs> Jeez. I, I, can I can I throw yes. in real quick? Go ahead, radio oh, voice. <coughs> that ain't a radio Turn it off. Voice. Oh no, not y'all. at all. Please not don't at all. Him up. That's why he. Okay, I'm sorry. But hey, I like what, what you said though, because before the situation actually happened, all I saw was what people were saying on social media, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and I feel like it was taken out of context. So I took it upon myself to watch the actual episode. What? Oh, you watched the episode? Oh, I episode? would never take it anything out of context. Wow. Hey, you did see, research. See, I'm to proud see of you, the brother. actual context was, wow. right? Proud of you. And like, you're, like you said, <laughs> you it didn't it? come off that way when she said it. Right. I feel like people kind of took it. It was even nipped in the bud right after she said it because she said you're not looking for it. 100%. Right. People left that out. Yeah, they definitely left that out because mom was there too. Mom is in her, what, mom is 50? She's 53. Mom, 50 and bad, mm-hmm. oh, 53. bad and mom, fine, mom right? She, she said, mushroom. and mom went through the same thing, right? Mm-hmm. Mom went through the same problem, and she said that, and this is how I am. I don't know if this is how y'all are, but if I'm out, right, Vibe. and I'm with my girl, I'm with Brittany, right? Oh, that might be a bad example. Uh, wait, yeah, you that's example. a terrible <laughs> example. <laughs> so, bro, you tried this example <laughs> last time. You got shut down because I was gonna say you fine. But I'm just trying to paint a picture, guys. Okay, so I'm not with Brittany, right? Just imagine she's fine. Just imagine she's fine. Shit. All right. Just imagine, like, we know I wouldn't date a nigga. This is my same height. Oh, and we're the same size britches. Oh, we're the same size. The lady draws. We're the same size. It's fine. Mike, chill out. Yeah. Not so <laughs> so if we were out at a bar or at a restaurant or at a club, like mom was saying that I like when women walk up to him because at the end of the day, I know she that's mine. That. Yeah. Like I take pride in that. Yeah. Like knowing that other people want him mm-hmm. and can't have him. I like doing said. that when I'm out too. She also said like she people can approach butt. my woman, mm-hmm. people can flirt with her, you can buy her a drink, but at the end of the day, She's not going home with you. Mm -hmm. She's not even going to talk to you. She's not even going to entertain you afterwards. Mm -hmm. So it's just like, uh. But at the at the same time, I don't think that she should have been looking for validation from anybody but herself and Steph. Mm -hmm. But if I know anything about niggas that correct me if I'm wrong, guys will flirt with anybody. I don't. You literally have to have two legs, and a guy will flirt with you. You don't even have to be attractive, and she's attractive. So I don't believe that she wasn't getting any but you attention. you don't approach women, though, so she, I just... Oh, damn. We're not going there. We, 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 this is a new year. We don't even touch on that no more. We don't even touch on that no more. Yeah. yeah. We, Jacob, don't. Just put your glasses on. Put your glasses on. Put your glasses on. Put your glasses back on. We're not going there this year. I just can't believe... As nah. attractive as she is, nobody is shy. Ain't nobody. She ain't getting no attention. She, she might not be getting attention from she the guy she wanted from. She didn't see it. I get people sliding my DMs all the time. I'm not attracted to them in the least yeah, bit. Yeah, right? Oh, trust me. Me and Mike know. Ooh. Relax. <sighs> wow. <sighs> Relax. Wow, wow. Validation. The Friendly. slugs. I, I wow. think it's the, the slugs in here. Episode gonna be like, <laughs> the, the, the shots, bro. I think it's the type of people showing her attention. It might not be the people that she's looking for. But, but no. The so, day, so, but, but Steph makes her okay. feel secure. But look, that raises another question, though. Because with society... We base everything off what we see on Instagram. Like, right. there's a, there's a lot, there's a lot of people saying that snippets. their relationship goes like she she, she ungrateful. Steph now bought her this and I did this. Da da da. I'm like, okay, so he does fiscally for her mm-hmm. and all those things, but is does he really does he really capture her mentally and like love really language. and really yeah, lift her love really lift her with a solid love language where she where a woman. 
a woman is going to feel insecure regardless, whatever the case may be, especially with that life that you live. But are you are you doing what you can to help alleviate that insecurity? Regardless, and so strong. I think he right. is. Though. But, but let me strong. let me real quick let me touch on something because since you the married man, you no, the married no, person. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Nicole brought some up and she mentioned her having uh, children. You know what I'm saying? And your a woman's body goes through changes. And so for me, I've had that. I've always appreciated women, but I've never appreciated a woman more. Then after my wife went through childbirth, you know, actually being in the room and seeing that. And then after that, not, you know what I'm saying, not what goes on while she's carrying that child and as she has the child, but after the seeing the healing process, the stuff that takes a toll on them mentally, physically, and emotionally like that. So I I could totally understand and get where she was coming from to know that you've had three you know what I'm saying you've had three kids and your body to you might not look the same as it once did mm -hmm. and you can tell a woman all day like girl you bad you still bad you know what I'm saying and she not receive it yeah. right. you know what I'm saying so I could totally get and understand you know where she was coming from here's my issue my thing was was of course for all the women who ran to her aid. Mm -hmm. If a man had said that, what she said. The man didn't say it though. I'm just but saying. I'm playing. You don't have it too side. I'm gonna take. No. I'm gonna take Jacob. Take Jacob <laughs> over today. Take my take. I'm gonna play devil's advocate. If a man had said that. I think he would be committed for saying it. You I think, think he? You really? I think, he would no, be I think. I think some people. Really? Would, I think some people would come I at him crazy. Yeah, I think Not some people come at think, all. So if Steph, I'm gonna let you talk, but if Steph had, I'm said gonna let you finish. That, but <laughs> if Steph had said that, you think he would have been commended? I think some people would have, and I think a lot more men feel like that than they let on, and that's probably one of the biggest issues. Well, Car just said it. But men yes. feel like that all the time; they just won't say it. Yeah, we won't say it because we know the backlash. If 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 I'm married. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say we're gonna say Britney, okay? Because Britney, Britney, Miss Dallas, Bad example, Britney got everything. Yeah. So Brit, Britney getting well, all this, Britney, Britney, Britney getting all this attention. She and getting corporate dudes, whatever. Da 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 da. Talking about this one sitting beside me. Come on, stop it. Let him finish. So if Britney, Jesus. if Britney's getting all this attention, and I'm a husband, I'm a mid level you guy. Wish. I ain't nothing special. I'm just. Yes, somebody. You, you know, scout regular. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was a slug. That, that was a shot. He I tried to come that. back you, for you. He said, "Oh, you, you just scouted." So, so, so <laughs> if if we're, if, we're, if we're doing an interview and it's like a, hu a husband interview, red, pretty much the podcast like we got now. <laughs> okay. And and I say like black, black table talk. Yeah. <laughs> what is like table Spice. talk? Hey, and and I say black table talk. That's a whole show. My wife gets a lot of attention, and it's like. Annoying because I know how dudes are, and you know I do feel insecure. I just wish that sometimes I can get, you know, have more female attention. Every fe every female, DMs every female DMs watching DMs that show would right would turn and he like, hold up, Did this your wife? That? She doing this, doing this, and you want female exactly. attention? Exactly. It, it would not go over well it with women. But at I, th all. I think there's, a, I think there's yeah, yeah, I think there's some people that still would relate to that, yeah. and they would still be like, yo, I felt like that in my marriage, like. I mean, Barack's got on TV and said, like, yo, more people love me than, I mean, love my wife than they love me. It doesn't matter if I'm the president. It's Michelle. Like, but had she Barack can do everything. But Barack I want more female attention. He didn't say that. But I'm saying, if I'm, he I'm would saying there's, there was some, there will be some people that would relate to that. But, yeah, would there be black backlash? Of course. But I still think there's be, like, a thing of relatability, but a lot of men don't talk about it. It's swept up under the rug. So when you see your homeboys still that are married, in serious relationships, engaged, still going to the bars, still mm -hmm. flirting with women, still buying drinks or whatever, see if they got it. It's just an unwritten conversation yeah. that's going on. But it still is very much and a it's real crazy thing. because we're expected if he to do those that, things. Yeah. Like, guys are yeah. expected to go Stupid. out there, receive attention, or at least, you know, buy the drinks so they can get that female Sorry. attention. And sure enough, even though we may not want it, but if we complain about not getting it, it'd be a lot You'd be larger sipping. issue. I mean, it's a double standard. Simple. Yeah. You, double standards do as gifts, though. They still yeah. exist. They're, they're real. No, they're Absolutely. Very, very real. Yeah. And I think, you would more, I think more people would run to your aid than to hurt you more. Uh, I think they more, would run to your DMs. Yeah, to your DMs. I think you would be Oh, like, no, oh. I'm saying, yeah, women would run to my DMs, and you have women that are like, Yeah, what you no, mean? She's, she's, she, she's, she's doing this. She paying for this. Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. And like you just ungrateful, you don't love our black know, queens. Oh, you would definitely get sympathy, pussy though. But no, why do you would get all the play? <laughs> you would get all the play from complaining. Can, wait, wait, wait. Can she explain what sympathy pussy is? No, we grown. 
Uh, some of my viewers don't. Y'all can do that offline. You've probably got some, so. Everybody. Oh, you're, damn. You're good. That's the thing. You're good. God yeah. damn. I probably have. You probably have. Oh, I forgot what I was um, going, going off of after you, after you admitted that you <laughs> on approach. <laughs> going off of the point he, that you admitted. He probably got some off of that episode. episode. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's okay. Going off the point that you had mentioned about, you know, guys are expected to do blank. I think it. You can even take that further, and guys are expected to not talk about our feelings because, I mean, our first episode, like we we oh, talked about masculinity, oh, and you know, guys aren't encouraged to talk about your feelings. You're not encouraged to talk about. You're, you're not encouraged to cry like, oh, if you yeah. if you cry, you're a baby, you're this, you're that, or whatever. And I, I, I think I had said this, but if not, let me make it clear. I think it actually makes you more of a man to cry. It is like uh, yeah, it, I agree. It, it doesn't. It's okay to be hurt, but just don't stay there. Right. Just yeah. pick up and, and learn from it. So, if you're you still ain't learning from you talking to you, I want to say you talking to yourself right now. You talking to yourself right still now. Your, I say Austin, you still in your sipping ways, buddy. <laughs> I've learned. I've moved on. Are you talking to yourself right now? Obviously not. You just had the same story. Let's get straight with your chest and said it with my chest. Didn't understand why women ghosted. Okay. Y'all not gonna jump on a young man like that. He got hurt. I have not. He got hurt. He got back out there. He got hurt again. Between Jacob not approaching and Austin getting ghosted, we not heard it all. Yeah, on the whiskey conversation. Podcast, we will call out your bullshit. This is a safe space, Austin. <laughs> it, is. I, it is not. Oh, oh shit. shit. It is not a safe <laughs> space. We party foul. Party foul. I honestly feel that more men did have that type of space mm. in that arena where they do did feel like they can actually be fully who they are and transparent about their yeah. feelings. I do think it's a societal issue that happens, and it is like, hey, you have to be a man, or a scene. It's like, hey, you're acting like a female, right? Yeah. Where you're told to diminish because having an EQ mm-hmm. is a bad thing when it's not, right. right? It's it's one of those things that you're like, you're a human, and you're supposed to have emotions, you're supposed to have feelings, but then when you just have to bottle that, especially when suicide rates are getting so much higher mm-hmm. among young children, especially mm-hmm. young black boys, yeah. that because they're taught that they cannot speak about the issues they're going through and you have to be a man and you have to man up and you have to do those things. It's perfectly healthy. And what, but, what's really a poison to our, sorry to cut you off, I just needed to say this. What, what's really a poison to our society is stereotypes. I mean, we talked about race, racism. There's white people stereotypes and there's black people stereotypes. There's f- uh, female stereotypes and there's male stereotypes. We automatically assume based off appearances, first and foremost, no matter what, who you are, we base it purely off of that. So, for example, for a well-dressed man, people will look at a well-dressed man like, oh, he's just he's just trying to show off. He's trying to be somebody else that he's really not. Dot, 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 dot. You can go after example after example, but it's going back to stereotypes, and you're not actually trying to learn who the person is. You just mm-hmm. base off appearances. And so I think that's that's part of an issue with our with our society over anything is that we base things solely on appearances and stereotypes. So with what you said... Do you think, though, because you brought up the double standard, do you think the double standard that we allow to be pushed, and granted there's a wide range of double standards Mm -hmm. between men Mm -hmm. and women, but do you think that double standard that we put on men um, kind of impedes on more men being open about their feelings or sharing themselves emotionally, which relates to, you know, suicide Mm rates or just failed relationships because as a man, Y'all you learn it. You learn it from. You learn it from your dad. You yeah. don't really express yeah. yourself. Like sure. I shared it with my. I shared it with like everybody. Like my first time I saw my dad cry mm-hmm. was when he had his stroke and he was about to die. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My whole life. That was my first time I ever seeing my dad cry. So when you grow up seeing that, only time I cried was after probably a loss in a sports game. Mm-hmm. That's probably it. So okay. I think, I think when we talk about insecurities and you know expressing myself like Aisha did, I think if people Men are always going to feel that way. Just no man is going to ever own up to feeling like that because then it shows shows a weakness. According but then, but then also, if he if he expresses himself, it's going to be flashback from men saying you soft, and then women saying you wrong for thinking that. And, so. and that's the thing with me. Like I think I'm a little bit different, and I don't know if I'm a little bit different, but maybe just in a minority of thinking as far as a woman goes. I think vulnerability is important. I think showing emotions is important. Sure. I think being emotionally, emotionally balanced is important because for me, yeah, financial, I've dated guys with money, but I wasn't satisfied because they emotionally lacked. It's that simple. Like, I need to be with somebody that can balance me completely, not just financially. I can carry myself. Right. I've been doing it. So my thing is I think we do need to change. I think mental illness is the tip of the iceberg. 
as far as being able to talk about things openly. But we definitely do need to approach yeah. the fact that men need to know how to, not necessarily know, but men need to be Open. comfortable yeah. in comfortable spaces where they can talk about what they're going through. Is that simple? Do you think that there needs to be a balance between authentic, between vulnerability okay, and authenticity? Jake. <laughs> Low key. What, what, what I mean by that is, you know, if someone's just vulnerable about everything, those are the kind of people who are posting every sob story, every simping story on their Instagram simpin or anything story. like that. Well, but I, I don't agree with that because the there's the a lot of people who suffer in silence. Yeah. And there's a lot of people that you don't see that, right? Sure. And, and I think, again, this is where social sure. media has a lot of people fucked up because True. they think or it's like, oh, in order for me to be transparent or for me to be authentic or for me to be the things, I have to share everything. And mm -hmm. it's that level of entitlement that people have in people's lives that they don't have no business stepping into. Mm -hmm. okay. So you can be vulnerable in a lot of things and no one knows but the people who are supposed to know and that's yeah. the way it should be mm -hmm. at the end of the day. Because, and I'm not talking purely you know, on social media, I'm just saying oh, like, in if, real life. if like you just came up like, hey, how you doing? Everything just sucks. And you just start going off that's, on. Okay, that's when you have to know the right time and the right place. Like I've experienced a lot of loss and I think I've experienced more loss than I should have at this age but that for me so I get what you're saying like I don't feel comfortable talking about what I've been through in certain spaces even though I know it might help other people but you don't want to come off as that overly soft story I don't want nobody to feel sorry for me right. you know so I get that it's a it's about following the balance and finding the right spaces and the right support system to speak to about certain issues it's that simple but you got to find those safe spaces because I grew up in the hood. I grew up in Oak Cliff. My little brother, as soon as he started crying, I know, I know the whole dialogue. You a pussy. This, this is it. I have a, I have a son that's five years old. If he need to cry, you go cry over there. When you figure that out, come talk to me. Let's talk about it. Why are you crying? It's that simple. I'm not gonna raise him to say, oh, don't cry. Boys don't cry. That's a fucking lie. Mm. Excuse me. Excuse my language, but oh, we cuss on this show. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I cuss. Jacob I cuss. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. No, but Austin mentioned, the, of course, the uh, masculinity episode earlier, and I, for me, I think the the tide is shifting with the guy, the young men under us. Like I told y'all, um, I coach uh, little league football, mm -hmm. and just the vulnerability that that those little boys would show. In just football or telling us about their day or what was going on at school, I'd be like, okay, okay, these little dudes ain't scared to share. But at yeah. the same time, because how I, I was raised, Man, yeah. it was like, you. get your yep. little soft. <laughs> and, and I guess it's up to us to teach them and mm -hmm. show them that Lead it's okay example. to be vulnerable. Yeah. I, but like you said, there is a balance. I'm going like, to sit need, up here and lie. When my son cries about certain things, I kind of be like, in my mind, I'd be like, man, I'm about to punch you. <laughs> <laughs> but, in my, but in life, I, from my experience, I know that you need to be able to learn how to process things because later on you're going to grow up and you're going to be aggressive. Yeah. I don't need him in the system. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And that's the same with me. So I've actually had to pray and sit back and take, you know, just kind of chill out sometimes mm -hmm. with my son. My son is only one, and I'm, Damn. I have this old school Same mentality – where he'll do something or he cries and and my wife might be like, oh, get him. I'm like, man, he all right. He a boy. Mm -hmm. He good. Mm -hmm. He all right. And my mother-in-law, she was getting on me this weekend about that. I Cause, my or like, or I grab him yeah. by his Six arm. Swim. You gonna mess up his show? He'll be all right. Yep. He a boy. He all right. <laughs> Go on. Get the pool, on somewhere. Swim. And so, <laughs> so I'm having to change my mentality, you know what I'm saying, to know yeah. that it's okay for him to cry. First off, he's still yeah. a baby. Mm -hmm. That's how he lets me know. Yeah, Something is going on. I know. Yeah, I know. Can't help. <laughs> he he going to cry, yeah, Mike. Exactly. Yeah. Relax, it's the first form of communication. You know what I'm saying? That's how they let you CPS, know. CPS, we just wrong. want y'all to know Michael is a loving, caring father. <laughs> right. I really am. I love my no, he's kids. Not. He's oh, very he aggressive. <laughs> yeah. so, I'm his son. I'm Mike's son. <laughs> so, and he abuses me. <laughs> So there's a there was a video. Don't put that out there. <laughs> there I don't was, know what to say. Because my son would approach. There was a anyway, there ahead. was a video going around of a uh, well. of a karate teacher, and he was teaching this this kid how to strike. And so you know he was yelling and punching and hitting. Mm -hmm. And then you heard the kid just start. He was screaming in pain, mm -hmm. but he wasn't screaming like wah wah. He was like wah wah. I saw and, that. And the That's guy powerful. just the guy stopped. And he's around like like someone's recording it and like his friends are standing all around him and this kid is like bawling and weeping and he just stops he puts his hand on his hips he's like what's wrong 
why are you crying? And this kid's like sucking air, like he's like sobbing that hard. He's like, it just hurts. He's like, what's hurting? Well, it hurts when I punch. Okay, take a second. All right, I want you to strike like this. You okay? Get it out. You're good. All right, let's go. Can you do it? But, and he was like, he was talking him, he was talking him through, he, there was a structure to it. He was, See, he was talking him thing. through, and he was breaking down the emotion, like, okay, what's the problem? All right, now we got that. Okay, let's build from there. So he was, he was handling the emotion well, not coddling, like, well, let me just hug you just because you're in pain. Mm -hmm. It's, okay, why are you in pain? Okay, now that we've identified, let's, 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 let's go problem. from there. And I think that's a very accurate way of, like, how we need to address a situation like that. Yeah, but, it, but it's also... And I, and I think this can relate to both examples. Mm -hmm. It's also about creating a safe space for young men. Absolutely. Yes. Right? For everybody. Like men. And encouraging. And, and, and not just men, but boys need to feel comfortable. Right. That's right. Show the touch. Right. So, so the it might touch. just bother I, I told you point. twice, bro. I told you I was going to give you two, and this is right. the first one. Well, you can let get off now. So, so but, <laughs> but, but what I'm saying is, you know, when we were a kid, we we're taught, you know, suck it up, mm. be a man, put some dirt on cry, it. But yeah. we're not taught. Like, what is a man? Right. It, oh, right? We you just know what I'm a, saying? Like, there is a heavy it's lack. It's like this unwritten rule what a man is. Like, what it yeah. Is. Like, you going to tell me is. to be a man? I don't even I don't even have an example of right. what a man exactly. is. You yep. know what I'm saying? Like, they don't have father figures. They don't have mentors. They don't have male role models. Like, you telling them to be a man, they don't even know what a man is. Exactly. So, we need more men like that and more men like Mike, yeah. right? Because when you create that safe space for young boys, they're willing to share more than they would mm -hmm. to their mom yep. or their friends or their parents, right? Yep. Um, mentors changed my life. Man. And, and but, you know, yeah. not everybody has that. I'm saying that's so crazy, too. I just had a conversation with my mom mm -hmm. um, today, yesterday, and last week about the same conversation, saying that you don't open up to me. And I'm like, what do you mean I don't open up to you? She's like, you talk a lot, but you talk about stuff that doesn't matter. And she said, you don't talk mm. to me about what I talk to you about. And I was like, well, what do you mean? Like, stuff that my dad talks to me about. And I was like, well, you know, my dad went around. So you, granddad talks to me like that, but not in the same manner that my mom and I talk. Mm. And she said, you have meaningful conversations, but you don't tell me. And what's the issue? And I said, well, think about how I was raised. Mm -hmm. You know, I was raised without my dad being around, but she was raised with her father by her side. Yeah. Even though we're both the only child, mom's, excuse me, um, being a a daddy's girl mm -hmm. is different from being a, a daddy's boy type situation. Yeah. Yeah, uh, sure. You don't get the same catering from for from sure. father to man as mm -hmm. mother to son or father to daughter. Mm -hmm. And so my mom's like, you just need to open up more. But I guess that's a part of what I have to do for you and talk to you more and ask you more questions. Mm -hmm. Or find another group, find a safe space, find yeah. somebody who's willing to have those conversations with mm -hmm. you. Um, and I think that's why I'm drawn to what I'm doing today, working for like children mm -hmm. and i listen to them kind of like you mentioned when it comes to not just discipline but therapy having a conversation yeah. talking them down from stages and saying hey what's the issue not talking what's wrong them, talking how did you them. feel that way what did what made you feel that way and what did, can what can you do to make it feel different next time it mm -hmm. happens and so i think that's truly important when it comes to raising a child but also giving a child that opportunity to be heard yeah. but also mm -hmm. taught them to how to be heard too that I think children sense. are meant to teach us patience. Yeah. And I don't think God our knows. parents had a lot of patience with us because Lord knows I'm not, I'm very responsible, but I'm very emotionally like mm -hmm. immature. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we just know. wasn't going to say it on air. Anyways. <laughs> Since you want to open a door. You walk Push. through. I thought we was making progress. Okay, Brittany, Brittany, I'm not done with you. Mic. <laughs> I'm, <done. laughs> I'm not done with you. I'm done. Don't though. No, but man, this has been a very. Uh, great topic to talk about. Very beneficial conversation. Uh, of course, went from validation to attention seeking to uh, how boys are raised. <laughs> that's how we do. I mean, how boys that's how we in. do. We touch all subjects and we and we though. and we bring it in. We bring it in full circle. And that's what we're gonna do. We actually have time for closing thoughts today. So uh, we're gonna go around the table. Uh, Start last with you. So, Brian, what you got, man? I'm gonna just ask this question from a viewer, um, and real quick and simple: Is being vulnerable the same thing as being transparent? Mm. I think it's different, but I think they're both equally important. Mm. Yeah, I think they're different in the right space. I think they walk hand in hand. Yeah, but I mean, yeah they're definitely they're different, though. Yeah, but they are yeah, different. Two different yeah. things. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so, th so think on. So That's think on question. that. A good question. Yeah. B. Beauty. I really don't have any closing thoughts. Guys. What? what? 
Mm. I think she let it all out. She aired it out. I think we're all confused that she was so tame today. She, no, she's like, we're like, cool. She didn't bite Jacob's head off. And she, no, cool. dead ass. Oh. I, mean, I she tried to behave it. myself. She I still knew sizing I him up, though. Fit. Like, you see that? She just, I knew I would take it. Fit, so I I've been today. doing a lot of yoga, guys. So okay. Very... We appreciate your growth. That was, she <laughs> said she been doing some yoga. She what? Namaste. What'd she say? Nothing. Jacob, your turn. I'm dead. Well, that was that was Sadly. actually mine. So it's funny that you led with that. But yeah. uh, mine was that there is power in truth and transparency. Uh, so for like the last, I'd say two months, I've been approaching, not approaching. No. I'm just playing. <laughs> not we approaching, but just not, ahead, but just taking a mask off, right? Okay. Future. So <laughs> you know, I, I, I think as people, <laughs> we're afraid to be I'm embarrassed. Pocus. Yeah. I think as people, we're afraid to look dumb or look mm -hmm. like we made a mistake. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I don't give a fuck <laughs> anymore. In I just more. don't give a fuck. Since when? Really? So, Since I just yesterday? Told you like, like, like today. Yesterday. Uh, like, so you've been approaching. Oh, oh no. I'm not talking about yeah, that. No. I'm just talking about in life. Just in life in general. So, like, as far as, you know, my business is concerned and my finances are concerned and my relationships are concerned. Barely. Not, not just, relationships. Listen, leave all relationships I'm doing out. now, yeah, we're going to leave that out. We said closing stores. thoughts. He went closing money. Yeah. Yeah. My <laughs> bad. But, but all I'm saying is, like, it be, life, there, life becomes guys. easier Procacy. when you just tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Actually, and you're not God. walking around with so some front or some facade because I was what you said mm -hmm. or what you said or what you guys agreed on, mm -hmm. but I was a public success in a private mess. Like, mm -hmm. I suffered in silence Put for a really a long time. It's Put it on a t shirt. It's the third one. Mike. I suffered in silence for a long time. It's like, uh, just, just, just say it. Tees like, okay. it can help it somebody. Too, baby. Mike, get yours. It's you. Mike, it's on you. you. Okay. Mike, okay. okay. um, I think in order to help our young men with vulnerability and to be balanced equally in EQ, emotional intelligence, um, I think we have to start with the men that we have now. Um, mm -hmm. Unlearn what you've learned. Get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. um, I That's appreciate Austin for, you know, even though we chuckled, I definitely chuckled for saying he felt hurt for being ghosted. That's a normal feeling. Yeah. I like I, you. I, I chuckled. You. I'm sorry, I but I I, I, I appreciate you. You, you, you know, for sharing that because it's important um, to be able to be open as a man and as a woman. So yep. I think um, that y'all have she no problem says, being open though. <laughs> Oh, that's what oh, she said. Yeah, Anyways, know. Austin. Wow. Wow. So, relax. hey, hey, hey. I, I disagree? I absolutely disagree. Next episode. Really? Next, episode. next episode. Okay, next, next episode. episode. Okay. I'd say for me, my my closing thought is just just be authentic. Uh, if, if you followed me on Instagram, I mean, a, a big thing that I that I come from is authenticity. You know, just just be yourself. Be who you're. There's enough fake people out there. Mm. Just be yourself. Stop being fake. Stop mm. stop putting on a facade that's not really you. And quit right. ghosting, Austin. Oh, Look for real though. I mean, Tell come, them, yeah. come on. Say it with your chest again. We forgot about it. Let me take yeah. you on a date. Okay. Ooh. Just saying. That's it. <laughs> Ooh. Be authentic. Her, but for real. Regain the main. She don't deserve you. She don't deserve you. Regain the main because a woman likes lying. Just saying. She don't deserve you, Austin. No. Wild card, what we got? Um, my. I think my, I'm going to still t just touch on the validation for my final comment. I think that with the whole Aisha Curry uh, statement, I think men have to realize that men suffer through the same stuff that she goes through. Just men won't express it. We, we more so do it through actions in private or with our friends. So I think that's one thing. Um, and also, I mean, again, we never know what's going on within within their household. Mm -hmm. Everybody from the outside may like perfect couples. Steph may be doing this, such and such. Mm -hmm. You never know if there's a love language that he's doing isn't meeting what she needs to meet, match her security of the lifestyle that she's in. So I think when it comes to a space of married people feeling insecure about their relationships and things like that, I say it like this. I'm, and my mom always told me this is like, be careful of what single people give you advice about with your marriage, Ooh, for because real. because for nobody real. else is in that space to right. be able yep. to deal to with that. that. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot of people Drink that don't that. have relationships. It's a lot of people that's toxic in relationships, mm -hmm. expressing how, what she should have did, how she should feel. I still should. If you're not married or you ain't been to that level of magnitude of relationship. 
Just stick your opinions to yourself. Right. Yeah, usually his mic is really hot, but he just he hit us with the he quiet. Yeah, yeah. 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 Been loud this Ooh, episode. that was velvet. His mic is velvet. I was like, sleeping this month. He did okay. hit us with the quiet storm. Boys. I wish I was <laughs> drunk enough to drunk text after he listened right. to his voice. Oh, wait a minute. Ooh, I mean, he right are. there. I'm not. I'm so sorry. Wait a minute. Do I need to move? This whiskey conversation out the dark. But no, we want to give another shout out to our sponsors, Southern Scholar, for providing a package. The, these amazing dope soft socks and also uh, Crooked Fox on the whiskey. It was amazing. Mm-hmm. Very smooth. Yes. We loved it. But real quick, we're going to go around what uh, what's going on this week? What y'all got coming up, man? Any any plans? Any this events? coming out this week? Of course that. I'm just making sure. Yeah, it is. Okay. You're going to find out. this Wednesday, so we had to if come If you back. are in Austin, if what you listen to this in time? Austin, there I will be go. in Austin Friday evening at Hanover 2.0 uh, doing a Dallas versus Austin uh, poetry uh, show. So Not on my mm-hmm. calendar. I will Kill be at that. There All right, y'all, listen. Mm-hmm. There is nothing going on. In Dallas this weekend, what? except what? Besides this Southern Classic. Yes, I got my Southern tickets. Classic Woo! got black men's work and baddies. Let's brunch. go, baddies. Now listen, and now listen. Now listen. Fellas, you if you want it. one, guess what? Austin, come get you a black queen. Tickets are sold out. Tickets are sold out. Tickets are sold out. But you can volunteer. If you need a ticket, you can volunteer still. But you can volunteer and still get in there. You can volunteer. $30 if you want to eat. You don't have to pay if you just gonna volunteer and not eat. The theme is Derby. <laughs> Come dress to impress. Get that thing. Um, the, don't be that salty the, person the on theme IG. Is boof. It's I'm, living color. And oh, it's, it's polo classic. It's polo. Oh, oh it's it is polo, polo classic. classic. Yeah, it's it's not southern classic. It's not oh, derby. Oh, yeah. Derby was last weekend. Yeah, I was like, okay. well, I don't know y'all where got, you going. I know you don't fits. go anywhere. Okay. But I got y'all fits. I got my. Oh, got oh, wait, wait. Someone I gotta to give. Mall. I gotta give a shout out. So, so y'all heard it here first. If y'all are anywhere else this weekend, Uh-oh. you're probably lame, and you oh. need to be there. Come so I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna. There is, there I'm there gonna, is a you in Dallas. Anymore. I'm gonna be lame. I didn't know I was gonna go into I'm gonna be lame. lame. He did. I, in his defense, he did reach out to me. But My nephew's graduating. Sure he's hey, be this hey, this hey, oh, congrats, congrats. Yeah. Shout out to the grads. No, shout, out to, I get shout out to Armani. Graduating no, with his uh, oh, degree so you're in accounting. Yeah, I'm being Houston this that's, week. That's fair. Oh, right. That's fair, though. Yeah. yeah. No, that's very fair. That's yeah. valid. Yeah. That's that's black black um, yeah. Thursday, May 16th. There's going to be a actual podcast pop-up. Shout oh, out to Drinking Partners. And shout out to Wolf Nation Studios. That's where um I record my show. They're going to do a rate and review party. So if you're a I podcaster, if you're a listener, it's a great opportunity to come out, connect with us, uh, Community Beer Company. Um, Google it because I don't got time. But um, <laughs> it's going to be a great event from 6 to 8. It's showing on my calendar. And I got one more thing, too, on Friday. Um, shout out to some of the homies. At, uh, they're going to be at OT Tavern. They're going to do a, a happy hour when? for Afrobeats on Afro Friday. Beats, on Friday. Friday. May, was you it 17th? May 17th? I don't go out on Fridays. Beats. But they're gonna, the beneficiaries will be Two Fly Foundation. Oh, nice. Yeah, so <laughs> some homies are putting together an Afrobeats event and doing uh, a fundraiser okay. for Two Fly Foundation. So shout out to y'all, man. Y'all Appreciate it. Two Fly. And on that yeah. note. Bet, bet, bet. Yo, drop the name of oh. your, tell us uh, the name of your uh, podcast because y'all have um, a good, good I don't, I don't, I'm not a social media manager, but the podcast page is Crown Jewels Podcast. Hey, and that's crown with the K, jewels with an S, and my page is at Young Oak Cliff. <laughs> at the end, y'all. Oh my god! At the end. Oh my god! Don't follow her. She got six yeah. photos. Come on, who got, do Brian? Go, who got a camera? We can make it. We can fix it. We can fix it right now. Right now? It's crazy, it's crazy. All the stuff is on your phone. Austin, give us those tallies, man. Give us those tallies. All right. It 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 was light today. None for weak. None for facts. Three for dead. Ooh. We was we was dead this week. We was just dead when we started. Young black man. That was man. before we, that was well, before we recorded. It was right though. as we started. That was it before we it recorded. It was right as we. Are you arguing bef- with me? Now you are. Yes. Why? Ooh. The one person who supports you. The one person who supports you. He said. That's why you don't get text back. Hey, regain. Hey, regain the main. She burst you. Real quick, Brittany, give your elevator speech. I just love to hear it. I love to hear your elevator speech. Go ahead. I know. You can still give it. Real quick, go ahead. Three, two, one, go. Bang, bang. All right. So my name is Brittany B. So I am a local Dallas blogger. I help young professionals and people who are corporate um, but still want to be social and help them kind of integrate everything between nine to life. Mm, That's not joke. Say the phrase, though. You help people live in their what? Oh, their mm. and. Okay. Mm. So right. between who they are and who the God's dash life. Boom. Yeah. 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 Put it on the shirt. And on that note, she always yeah. blesses with the with the elevator pitch. Yeah. But on that note, man, we appreciate you for listening to the Bless Whiskey Conversation appreciate podcast. Yes. We'll be back next week. 
two weeks, one of them weeks. Oh, next week. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Is it next week? Next week. Oh. Okay, one of them weeks. Yeah, but uh, with that, man, we're going to toast on our way out. Y'all still got a drink in your cup? Yes, I got that drink, drink. Got a drink in the cup. And we out. We appreciate the ladies for coming. We'll see y'all. We out. Thanks for having us. Well, okay. Okay. Well, okay. since I'm here. And we loaded.